Action is pouring in here in Tennessee, too. Elizabeth Lane has that and more on the implications should the Supreme Court vote to overturn Roe v. Wade. Nikki, good morning. And to be clear, even if Roe v. Wade is overturned, there likely would be some changes to that draft opinion before it would be published. Again, this is just a draft, but it does give us a glimpse into what the justices were thinking at the time it was written. We're learning this draft opinion would have been written about two months after oral arguments in the case. And today, Chief Justice John Roberts will have his work cut out for him as the nation's highest court will work to determine where that leak came from. Legal experts we're hearing from say this will end in disbarment for the people or person responsible. And if the court does ultimately overturn, abortion law would be left up to the states. Here in Tennessee, abortions are performed up to nearly 20 weeks into pregnancy. The legislature did pass a bill to ban abortion once a fetal heartbeat was detected but an appeals court put a stay on that law. Now, Governor Bill Lee has been very outspoken on where he stands. It's our responsibility to protect the most vulnerable in our community. And certainly the most vulnerable in Tennessee includes the unborn, which is why with the signature of this bill, Tennessee is one of the most pro-life states in America. And that was him signing the fetal heartbeat bill back in 2020. Now, Davidson County's District Attorney Glenn Funk is weighing in. In a statement, he says he's appalled by this assault on a woman's personal health decisions, he calls it. And, quote, the criminal law must not be used to, by the state to exercise control. He goes on to say as long as he is the elected district attorney, he will not prosecute any woman who chooses to have a medical procedure to terminate a pregnancy. Now, right now we're working to gather reaction from Tennessee's top officials. We'll have more on this developing story as we get it. Neil.